Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twelve eighty by seven twenty. So that's seven twenty p right there. And I lock the ratio. And what I do for um like to get it like you know how like my thumbnails and stuff like the lighting is really smooth and everything like that. Yeah. Well, what I do is in these settings, I go to here, click Effect, Ambient Occlusion, and Global Illumination. And right here on this ambient occlusion, I go down here and check mark evaluate transparency, which that doing that, it evaluates the transparency of the second skin layer for the player model that I add in. And if I don't check mark that, it'll do this weird thing where it's like black. It's like it'll have this like black shadow on the second layer and it's like really weird and annoying. Um, let's see. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is add the player model. The rig is what they call it. So what you need to do is, you know, you don't have it, obviously. You need to get it and hyper rig ultimate. Drag it. What you do, once you have it, which you probably, you don't have it, but once you do get it, you just drag it and drop it into Cinema 4D and you, let me, Hold on, let me, am I able to go back in this? Oh well, but you click the pre-made rigs and you go, you can either choose one that gives you like, you can have weapons and tools or one with no weapons or no tools, but for this one I'm going to do the weapons one, so I'll just double click that and it, and it gives me this little, little character, this little Steve character right here. And I'm doing stuff like this, you... You don't want to have this name up here. Don't ask me why it's spider underscore writer one two three. <laughs> you just click this little dot up here, this little triangle diamond thing above the name. And down here you can take off the name and make the name tag like visible or invisible. I'll just leave it invisible. Um right here. Um did did you get this from uh Weed Lion? Are these white weed lions no. assets? No, this one's actually better than Weed Lions. Yeah. The last ones, I, I used to use Weed Lions, but with this one, you can, there's more options for the mouth and eyes. And um, also, you, obviously, the tools too. You can add tools too. Like, you know. Like, like you, can, you can still add, like with the Weed Lion one, you can still add like item models but then you would have to like move the little item around to fit in the hand but with these ones you can just take it and like say you want a sword in your hand so you can click this little sword icon right here and then and like enable it and it's automatically right there and you can change the size too like that and for this one I'm gonna keep the sword in my hand for the thumbnail so I'll change the color to freaking uh, make it an iron one so I just slide this one down um, extrusion that makes it like extrudes the thing see that yeah yeah I usually keep I like it at 50 honestly kind of like that gives it nice depth I think in my opinion and with this one you can also change the fingers but I don't really feel like messing with the fingers right now because it's kind of a lot and typically people don't really see the model, the player model's fingers in the thumbnail, so it's no biggie. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, I don't want that nose there. So, what is this? This is the nose. Do not want it. This second layer, enable it. P right here for pupil. I think I'll leave the pupil the same. Brows. I do want eyebrows. Oh, uh, oh yeah. In order to put the skin on the custom skin on the character, um, what you need to do is up here you need to click the hyper rig, which is the whole player model itself, and then come down here to skin slash texture file, click it, and then um, pictures, and then oh mine, and then just click a, I think this yeah, click the skin model that you want. And then, for and then for some reason it doesn't do the head, so you have to come over here, 
and click the coloring tab and then come over to head skin and change the head skin. You just use the same thing. So there we go. See? And also, you see this like this dull white shine kind of yeah. right there on the nose? You don't want that. You do not want that because like once you render it and add the lights and stuff like that, it'll have this dull effect. Here, I'll show you right now. I'll add a light and bring it up and in front. I'll add it to the side right there. And I'll zoom in and I'll click the middle button at the top right here, render to picture viewer, and open this up. And it'll render it. Oh. It just shouldn't take too long because there's nothing, there's not a whole lot going on. But, nah, I'll wait for that. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See how terrible that looks? Garbage. It's like really, like, very light. <laughs> it's really bad. Ooh. Okay, so you see, it's like that. It's like really gross, and you don't want that. Now, if I. Oh, also, also, when whenever you have a light, you want to make sure to come down to the settings. And when it says shadow, you want to change the none to soft. So it adds a shadow effect to things. And so, to enable to get rid of the, the skin like issue thing, I'm going to come down here to all the textures and go down to where you see this skin texture right here. Ooh, ooh. Right here. Double click on it. And you want to uncheck specular, which would see the difference between the skin at the top. It's like white, there's that white blur to it, and then you uncheck it and it's gone. So, so that fixes it. It would not be like that. Ooh, change the brows, I'm change the coloring of the eyebrows. There we go. Now I wanna, ooh, that color is actually perfect for my, for my ears. I don't need to change that color at all. Okay, so brows. Let me move these around. <laughs> okay, fifty. Okay. I'll put that one forty. What? Oh, okay, 45. And then I'll... No, he's mad in this one. This is the one, this is the one for when I keep dying. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to look mad. <laughs> uh, <people. laughs> you can make it look ridiculous. <laughs> 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 He's like, let's cut in this. Let's cut in this. Make him look like down. I'll move this one. Oops, not that one. This one. Move it over back this way a bit. There. Looks pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so. Let me get rid of this light. Um. Okay. Let me move the arm and over to come here. Over here, if you have any other questions about like how to move different things that might be a little more complicated, then just ask. But anyways, in order to move the arms, you want to come over here, click this, and click this little box right here with the plus in it, and then click the one that says arms, I K S. Open that up and then click the right arm, well, or whichever arm that you want, and you'll give you these little arrows that you can move them up and around and stuff like that. See? Um, and when you come up here, this is the move tool, but you can also come up here and click the rotate tool. And you can, like, rotate it. It's really cool. So. Hmm. What that? Everyone like that. Ooh, I'll pull it down though. Pull it down. Yeah. And I'll have it like 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 that. And then 
disarm will kind of be just like over here like bitch what do you want okay Ooh, it'll be like that. Ooh, ooh, what am I doing? Ooh, I almost clicked something I should not have clicked. Um, I'll give some or if I head. Head. And when you want to move the head, make sure the head right here, bool mouse, the head bool mouse, and the second layer are both highlighted. So you want to just do that, make sure they're both highlighted. Because if you don't, then it'll just move the head layer behind it and it won't move the second layer. But since you have them both like that, then then it'll be good. Okay. Perfect. Okay. There. That's good. Very good. Zoom in. Oh wait, hold on. Okay. I'm gonna add a add a text uh a background and the background is going to be a sky a sky background okay so what you want to do when you want to add a background like like let's say because I'm gonna have like it's like a picture of a sky and I want it to be the background of this in order to do that I I need to go down here click create new material go over here to the color no wait no okay don't go to the color. So when you create the new material, you want to go over here to the texture. You want to click this little triple dot button right here, which will open up, you know, um, the different textures that you can choose. Downloads, and right here, this is the picture that I chose. And this is this little thing will pop up. This image is not in the project search path. If you want to create a copy of the project location, just click yes every time. It's no big deal. And then once you do that, you want to come up here to this little little box right here that says floor, add floor object. You want to uh, left click it and hold it, hold it down and you come up here and uh, select the background. Now you take this material texture and drag it and drop it on the background and it'll be the sky. Is that pretty cool? And then I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to add a light because there's no light currently. So I'll make the light come up and make it come over this way. Okay. Now with this light, just shut it soft. I'm gonna keep it put it over here. Copy and paste it. Drag a second one over here and change the color. I'll make a very slight, slight blue. No, that's kind of too much blue. Slight blue to give it sort of an effect. Okay. Zoom in. Hmm. Actually, paste. Oops, oops. I, I, okay, I still did it. Okay, let me just add another one real quick to below. Okay. So I get some lighting from below. Okay, okay. Sweet. Now, now once I once I like this, I come up here to the middle button and render to picture viewer like before. And it'll take a little bit longer than than what this one did because it's a lot more going on. So I'll let that sit there. Cool. There we go. Now, you can also once it's in this picture viewer. Oh, no one's going to notice that anyways. Um, what's like this, you can go over here. And you can do... Now, I haven't messed with this layers option. But I've messed with the filter option. And you can enable a filter. And you can up the saturation. Which I like to do. Um, and the exposure. Just a slight bit. And it gives it... Now, I'll do... This is the before. And then this is the after. I like to add the filters, look nice. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So now, say to save it, you come up here and click File, and then Save As, and then you want to change this, um, the format, to a PNG, 
and then you can change the bit of the channel. I just, I like to have it on 16. Check in in order for the filter to work because I had I I realized this like like a long time ago when I was messing with Cinema 4D like years ago. Um, you have to check mark use filter enable for the filter to show up when you save it. So check mark that, and then click OK, and then save it as whatever you want. This one, let's see, what other. What are the Sky Wars 3? I think this will be the fourth one then. So, and then um, save file as, picture format, and then save it. And then exit out. Um, pictures, craft, and here we go. The thumbnail that I just made. Fantastic, isn't it? It's a lot. It's a lot, though. It's a lot. Don't get used to it, though.